Hi there guys, so Duke Calzaghe has responded to Carl Froch who called him out for a fight now. Obviously Duke Calzaghe is 48 years old and Carl Froch is 43, so it would be a fight where both of them are not in their prime. But obviously Duke Calzaghe has been retired for 12 years, Carl Froch has been retired for 6 years, so there would kind of be an advantage on Carl Froch's side. So coming out of retirement now would not be a good idea for Duke Calzaghe, it wouldn't be a good idea for Carl Froch either, but Carl Froch always finds ways of being in the media and keeping the press interested in him and I believe this is just another one of those. I don't think Carl Froch really wants to come out of retirement and I mean he's always been obsessed with Joe Calzaghe because that is the guy he has always wanted to fight and that is the fight that has always eluded him. He wanted to fight him but then obviously Joe Calzaghe vacated his title and moved up to fight Bernard Hopkins and Carl Froch kind of said then that Joe Calzaghe was ducking him. Calzaghe didn't really duck him, he wanted to move up and he decided that after that Kessler fight, it was coming to an end. His career, so he wanted the legacy fights. Bernard Hopkins and Roy Jones Jr. So he moved up to challenge those two, leaving Carl Froch to fight for a vacant title against Jean Pascal. Now, Joe Calzaghe said he would have easily beaten Carl Froch. He would have been too fast, too sharp and too awkward for Froch. And Froch was always going to be kind of a brawler in the fight and looking for a single punch to knock out Joe Calzaghe because maybe over the distance, Joe Calzaghe is going to have the advantage but Carl Froch was a big puncher and you can never count out a big puncher and someone with that kind of heart who always keeps coming doesn't give up at all so Carl Froch kind of needs to chin him and Joe Calzaghe needs to take Carl Froch late so realistically this is just another one of those fights and that never happened and never will happen but I kind of think it's fun to speculate about it maybe it's a good thing that it didn't happen because obviously Calzaghe would likely have beaten Froch on points or Froch would have knocked him out and I guess you can come down on either side. I mean, if you consider the best performances, Joe Calzaghe versus Jeff Lacey and Carl Froch versus Lucian Butte, which is their best performances, I would say. Who would win that fight? The Carl Froch versus Lucian Butte or the Joe Calzaghe versus Jeff Lacey? What a fight it would be, but you can still kind of see how you can't really come down on either side because Joe Calzaghe was obviously fast, awkward, sharp. So that was always going to be a difficulty for Carl Froch. But as I said, you can never count out Carl Froch. Look at the first George Groves fight. He was getting battered from pillar to post, but yet he still found something. So you can never really count out anyone like that. As I said, this fight is fun to speculate about. Maybe it's a good thing that it never did happen because, as I said, Carl Froch was coming into his peak and Joe Calzaghe was at the end. Guys, anyway, drop your thoughts in the comments below. Click the thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. Thanks, guys.